Hello Tool Groupies, Tradesman Do It Yourselfers. Today on the Backwoods Mechanic Channel, I picked up two of these aluminum suction cup holders from Harbor Freight. And I want to test them out and see exactly how well they work and if they're useful in a practical application for tradesmen. These are from the Laguna brand at Harbor Freight, model number 57500. They have a 110 pound capacity for each one. They have different kinds down there for you to choose from. These individually was 10 bucks a piece. They had some sitting right beside of it for about 8 bucks a piece. Single handle, dual cups. And they had one that had a little bit less of a weight capacity. I think the dual cup was 125. These are 110. So I figured I would take them and try them out. You can see here, pull out dense and securely lift glass, tile, or any smooth surface material lifts up to 110 pounds a 4 and 5 8 inch diameter durable high impact aluminum box made in china and then it goes through the warning labels here of course you don't need to be climbing the side of a building with these things if you're going to do something like that i would not recommend using these it's just dangerous doing stuff like that but now as far as picking up something like glass if you're someone who installs glass up on scaffolding or up on a ladder nobody knows what situation you're going to be in but you there's a lot of companies out here that's got professional quality tools and they do things right there's a lot of small businesses that don't do things right what i want to know is will these things come in handy in a practical application now there's a variety of different things that i do for people i do automotive work machine equipment repair boat motors small engine appliances i do a little bit of everything because in this current economy what keeps me busy keeps me paid keeps me going things like this when i look at them i see tools that have potential to make life easier i've never had this brand before i've tried out one or two brands in the past that did not work out very well well, but these are made a lot different than what those brands were so i'm going to take them we're going to test them out we're going to see some of the practical applications that i'm going to be using these this is a cover that goes on an industrial dryer an ad 100 to be more specific now this cover is basically you see it right there there's a door right here that opens up you load the linen inside the basket you shut the door anytime you need to work on things like dryers you're probably going to have to pull the front cover off if your tub's dragging or anything like that you need to address the issue and you need to figure out why the tub's dragging. Did you have contact on your wires? Did the basket go around in circles and cut the door switch wires in half? You know, there's a million things that you might have to do when it comes to these industrial dryers. And what I want to know is, will the suction cups pick this thing up? Because as a tradesman or a technician, you might be going out on service calls by yourself. You might not have that much help. And if these things would work to pick something like this up, it might minimize how difficult the job is. Plus, if the edges of it are sharp, something like that you could easily cut your hands and you don't want that the door could swing open and it could come flying off of the machine you could bust the glass there's a few different things that could potentially happen if these suction cups make this easier to pull off and put back on well then they've paid for themselves 10 times over and we might go invest in more so let's try it out and see if it will pick this up but the first thing you want to do is make sure that the surface is clean because a lot of people like using glass you want to make sure the surface is nice and clean wherever you're going to be putting that at and it needs to be nice and flat picking up some something and it's metal and it's the least bit warped it will cause it to loose up and make sure you don't put it over holes or anything like that same thing for the cups here they're nice and clean smooth nothing wrong with them you basically stick it on here apply pressure and then you pull back on this right here right there you go make sure it's locked in place do the exact same thing over on the right side here push it in lock it in place test it out make sure it's not going to wiggle back and forth and now we're going to try to pick this up by using both of these suction cups together so in a situation like this if it's coming off of the dryer you're pulling it down you're going to want to be able to get a good grip on it like i said and that right there popped right off could be because it didn't have it on here quite good enough or it could be because it's still dirty it's got lint all over it and clean it adequately enough try it again it could also be the fact that this is warped and it's moving around a little bit we're going to show you but yes it will pick this thing up and this is a pretty heavy piece of steel venture to say all together that this piece of steel at least 60 to 70 pounds now you might be somebody that does not want to risk it you might not want to risk dropping the door but it is a good option who wants to minimize how much trouble you're going to have whenever you're pulling these covers off could make your repair go a little bit easier a little bit smoother it's just something that you got to test out for yourself and see if it works or not like i said it's in place now and you can see i'm moving it back and forth and it works fine whenever you're ready to release it all you got to do is pull down on that and it releases and clean off your seat 
As you can see here, this is the one that slipped on me and there is lint all on the outside of it. One that held good doesn't got any lint on it. Same thing here, this is another door. This covers the lint trap portion on the lower half of them dryers. It can get sharp edges on them, stuff like that. Same concept applies here. You wanna push it down, put pressure on it, lock it in. But as you can see, when I push down on it here, it did bend the steel a little bit. So if this is moving around, it might lose suction. We'll try to pick it up here. Works perfectly fine. You turn it back and forth and it's holding to it. And now as you can see right here, one-handed, picked up this entire thing and it's doing the job it was intended to do. We do some work for some old businesses who have them old plate glass windows installed. Them things could be a pain in the rear end to try to deal with. Glass falls out, you're liable to get cut all to pieces. So it's always good to have something on hand that might make your life easier once again. So we got a brand new piece here, nice and clean. We're going to put this on it. We're not going to apply a lot of pressure. We're just going to barely put our hand over it just enough to lock this in place. And we're going to see if it will hold this glass up. As you can see right there. So if you're trying to install glass, you could easily put this suction cup on there, put it in place, lock your clips in and all that sort of stuff. Same thing if you're removing glass. It's always a pain in the rear end trying to remove glass as well because it might be stuck inside there. You get up there and knock all the caulking out of it and you go to try to get it loose and it's still stuck in there. You can stick one of these in place, pop it right out and it do exactly what you need it to do. I like the fact that these are actually holding pretty good and uh, for the price point you really can't beat what you got here. They're made of aluminum so you know they're never going to rust and they do feel nice and durable. This is a nice thick piece of rubber on it here so you know it's not that cheap stuff it's not something that's going to bust real easy or dry and crack and rot and all that sort of stuff that's not too bad just keep it clean keep them maintained took care of you know stuff like that get a good up close look at these you can see the square right there in the center the handle is attached to it the one that flexes this is a stationary handle right here you got a pin that runs through it right there snap ring this side of it if that ever pops off there you can replace those you need it to pop it off of there to access it to uh, fix any problems you might be having you could easily do that as well it's a very simple functioning tool that you might very well be interested in using just recently come in to remove this old washer from this business and got them a new one. We're removing this old one, might rebuild it and then donate it to a family in need. I'm not certain on the way to this thing, but I'm gonna see if we can put these on the front of it right here and we're gonna see if it will pull it across this old hardwood floor. Go ahead and install one. Let's see if we can pull her in at all. Look at that. Well, it did pull it, but it popped right off there, but I am pulling it. The pulling pressure might be a little bit more than 110 pounds of lifting. So now I've mounted them both side by side, and we're going to try pulling it with both of these to see how well it does. This might be good for anybody who's got a home, and you know, you got your washer and dryer shoved in a corner, and it's always a pain in the rear end to pull it out because you think you've got a leak, you got a water line loose, you got to fix that pigtail on your dryer, whatever the case is. These might be good for that. You might be able to pop them to it and pull them right out. And this is an old wood floor that this thing is sitting on and if it'll pull it in at all that's pretty impressive for what these are As you can see the washer is right here i'm just going to grab a hold of it and then pull look at that look at that you can lift the dryer up if you need to crawl underneath it. I've been there a million times myself where you try to tip it up on its back to look under it. Make sure the belt's on it good. Check out the pump, all that sort of stuff. And sometimes when you're holding it, you got to put your hands on the lid and all that, and it'll smack down on you. Let's see if it'll walk it. Look at that. And I would assume the dryer weighs more than 110 pounds. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually on site here today working on this dryer. And I wanted to test out one of these because I've been using it on site. And I tell you what, it's pretty cool. You put it in there. This is a big lint trap right here that catches all the lint in these dryers. And, uh, you know, you can pick it up, pull it right out. Do whatever you need to do with it. Whenever I go to reassemble everything, stick it back in place. All I got to do is attach that to it, shove it right in there. You're a tradesman technician out here working on industrial machines and equipment to take glass. You can easily lift the glass up in place and secure it by using these. And if you go to get yourself a drink and you're worried about the handles being dirty because of COVID and all, don't worry about touching the handles. Just, you know, stick it on there and open the door. After I have tested these things out and I've used them for a little
little while now in a variety of different circumstances. I tell you what, for the price of $10 a piece, these things are well worth it, and you should definitely invest in some. I'm the kind of person who likes buying tools, testing them, trying them out, and using them in different applications than other people would have thought of. I've been all over the trades. I used to lay tile and all that sort of stuff, and these types of things are great for that too. I mean, there's a million things that you can use these tools for. They're very practical, functional tools for a really good price point. It really just depends on what it is that you do, what type of job you have, or you wanting it for a do-it-yourself capacity, you know, things like that. You're going to run across a thousand different things that you could use these for. I said in the beginning of the video, you don't want to go try to climb a skyscraper with these things, you know, because that's a little bit dangerous. They use some common sense on what you're using these for. Don't put them on something and start lifting something that you do not want to risk damaging. There's always that possibility that something's going to fall, get damaged, broke, shattered. If you don't want to do stuff like that, definitely be safe about how you're using it. But once you find out the limits for you, different types of things these tools can do, this might make your life, your repair, your job just that much easier. So I think it's worth investing in for $10. Once again, these are the Laguna name brand. Go check them out. Look for your local Harbor Freight near you. Links in the description box below. Follow on all these social media platforms and make sure to comment below as well. Let us know your thoughts and opinions on these. Do you use them? What circumstances do you use them in? That way you can give other people a good idea whether these are good or bad based off of your experience.